Wait a minute. Excuse me. Can I have a second of your time, please? The question is, starting fluid versus carburetor cleaner to start an engine with. <clears throat> now, this is where I get my information. Okay. About, well, about 20 years ago, I went to technical school. And um, the first 12 weeks was pretty intense, and it was all about theory. It was all about theory. They taught us everything from suck, squeeze, bang, blow, to hydraulics, how brakes work, uh, valves, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Electrical systems, um, you know, the whole nine yards. All at one time. It was a big crash course. And um, basically while we were there, the conversation was struck up about using starting fluid to crank an engine. And our instructor, his name was Ed Rodriguez, and I would put bank on his word. Um, years of experience as a technician, years of experience as a teacher. Their uh, information came from probably the best sources in the world, is what I considered it anyway. So, during this conversation, uh, the question came up about um, starting fluid, ether, versus carburetor cleaner. Uh, the right kinds of carburetor cleaner is plenty hot enough to start any engine, except for diesel engines. And, um, you know, the conversation was, and this is how he explained it. He explained it that ether was explosive. Okay? And carburetor cleaner was flammable. What's going on inside your small engine is a controlled burn, not an explosion. Okay? So, if you introduce ether to your small engine... And whenever it starts, it may not do it the first time, but if you use it over a period, I mean, multiple times over and over, you run into more of a chance of this happening. But the sudden impact of that explosion can cause uh, your rings to crack, and which causes ring failure. And ring failure leads to... Uh, oil consumption, and loss of compression. So at that point right there, why even why even risk it? Why even risk it? Go buy you a can of carburetor cleaner. And uh, I'm not, I am not being um, sponsored by any way by Berryman's carburetor cleaners. Uh, but I use that stuff religiously. If I can't get Berryman's, I don't buy anything. I go to the next store. Okay, if I can't get it there, I go to the next store. Uh, I will walk into the uh, local parts store down here, and I'll order it by the case. And whenever I, whenever I start getting low, I'll order me another case, just in case it takes me six weeks to get it in. Uh, yes, that's how well I believe in it. What technical school did I go to? Well, it's probably not even heard of anymore. Um, it was... Uh, due to bad uh, business management, I went to AMI, American Motorcycle Institute in Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, God, what an awesome program we had. It was an older building. And uh, the, the class that I was in was the very last class that was under the name AMI. Wildtech bought them out. And uh, the very next class that, that graduated, graduated um, as Wyotech students. Um, and they 
bought a new, they built a new building, a brand new facility, state of the art facility uh, in Or. I think it was Ormond Beach. I never have been back. Uh, not that I don't want to go back. Uh, it's just that you know, time and restraints keep me from going back for bike week and this and that and that and this. But it was a great experience. I learned tremendous. I learned how to make a living. I learned how to manage myself. I learned how to, oh, I learned who I was while I was there. Um, a lot of the things that I was taught there or the, a lot of the things that I do now are things that were not taught to me while I was there. I was taught how it worked and how to repair it. And you repair it with professional fixes, you, 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 and OEM parts or better than OEM aftermarket parts. And if you can buy a, if you can buy a Chinese carburetor that was $21.95, that was as good as a Makuni carburetor, I'd be for it all day long. Because Makuni carburetor, I just surprised one yesterday for a Kawasaki 250 Bayou, uh, 2009 model, and it was $495. Pardon me. The same looking com carburetor on eBay or Amazon, $21.95. I am not going to stake my reputation or the chance of me having a callback, a return, or spending half a day trying to fix a piece of crap that ain't going to never work versus installing brand new OEM McCooney and not even have to tune it, put it on and it runs perfect, set to idle and let it rip. Yes, I'm going to do that every time because I was taught to do the right repair, a good fix, the first time, every time, and you don't have to go back. Sure, you're going to have comebacks. It's going to happen. But that's it in a nutshell. If you got a good fix, you're not going to have a comeback. Okay? So going back to the original topic, an explosion versus a controlled burn. Hey guys, I'm not going to run the risk. Why would I want to take the risk of blowing a man's machine up and him taking me to court, putting me on a witness stand, and asking me if I knew better when I do? Okay? And it happens. Trust me. By the first two weeks that we were in uh, technical school in class, they had us scared to death. About half of us wanted to walk out because it was like, man, Litigation? Well, we never thought about this. No, uh-uh, no, you did never think about it. So, uh, you know, be proud of who you are. Be proud of where you come from. And if you can learn something from someone else and save yourself time and money, do so. And, uh, your reputation is worth more than money. That's a fact. And, uh, you know, yeah, I got a diploma. I got two or three of them. Uh, but this right here, that right there, I would rather... Die and go to hell, then I had disrespect to that logo. They have taught me a life's lesson. Okay, guys, if you like this video, subscribe, like it, leave a comment down below. Hey, it's worth it's worth debating. You're not going to change my mind. Now, yes, 
Ether has its place. It has its place. Uh, Satan the beads on tractor tires? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one is kind of dangerous. But it works. Uh, starting a diesel engine? Yeah, by all means. Because it's high compression. It needs more of a bang. It needs that explosion to get those pistons moving because you're dealing with high compression, no spark, and uh, you need that explosiveness to start that engine. But a small engine, motorcycle, ATV, a jet ski, a log splitter, a uh, generator, one of those little small engines, they don't need that. That very much carburetor cleaner busted off every time. Never in my life have I ever had any troubles with it. So, remember, all things are possible through Christ. God bless you, and have a great day.